Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Lift to Get Lean prep week. I want to start today off strong, and you guys have already done that. Thank you so much for those of you who have already had a chance to introduce yourself and say hello to the group. I will tell you that the more we know you and understand your situation, the better we are able to coach you and serve you. So put it all out there. You know, I I would really love to know what where it is that you struggle the most. Do you struggle with um, prioritizing yourself? Do you struggle because of time? Do you struggle because you don't know what to do? And all of these things. So please keep sharing. Um, today's video is just to say hello, to set some expectations for the rest of the week and the program, um, to get you excited, as excited as I am, to maybe answer a couple follow-up questions, and really just give you peace of mind, especially for those of you who are new to the program. So if you've had a chance to watch last night's Q&A, one of the things that we mentioned was um, we're all on our own. We're all on our own journey. It sounds so cliche, but it's true. We're all in our, in our own spot, in a different spot. And it's important that we don't compare. You will find your way. Everyone is going to do this a little bit differently. Some people are going to be really active in the Facebook group. Some people you're not going to hear much from but I know you're still getting the value because you continue to sign up again. So whatever works for you, works for me. Uh, I'll say that. Um, I will also say that you will get out of this what it is that you put into it. So while I don't expect you necessarily to comment on everything, it will behoove you to read every post and to watch every video. Because as I mentioned last night, there's no fluff. I honestly don't have time for fluff. There is too much information to give to you. This could easily be an eight-week program, but engagement goes way down after seven weeks. So please just know that everything I give you is important and it's going to be of value to you. We mentioned also last night that at the end of the week, we post a weekly recap on Sunday. So when life gets busy and things get hectic and you've gone a day or two without coming into our group, just know that we've got you. We've got you. Every PDF that I post will live in the portal. Um, every video will live in the portal. All the live videos are also in our Facebook group. So it's not like if you miss it on that day, you miss it forever. We've got you. Um, other than that, let's see, um, the group, share, support, be vulnerable. Again, the more we know about you, the better we can serve you and the better that we can coach you. And this is our safe place. And I promise you, you're going to find a connection with someone who's got a story that's a lot like yours and you might buddy up with that person. Maybe both of you work full-time jobs. You've got a couple of kids. You have to work out super early in the morning and that's really challenging. And you guys can be like, we got this. We can totally do this and you can lean on each other. Um, beyond that, what to do today? We start small. We started with an intro. This week is just about you getting your environment prepared for the next seven weeks that we are together. In your email, you got an intro document with a suggested shopping list. Get yourself to the grocery store. Start to get your pantries cleared of foods that aren't on your plan that you know you maybe shouldn't have in your environment, those snacks that are in your car, get those out in your office drawer, any snacks that aren't like healthy snacks, get rid of them. But in addition to that, people who are in your environment, fill them in. If you live with somebody, tell them what you are up to so that they aren't constantly, you know, inadvertently sabotaging your efforts. Some people need to know what you're up to. Not everyone needs to know everything. Like you don't need to tell your coworkers that you're tracking your macros because that will lead to a whole other discussion. And we'll talk about how to deal with coworkers later on in the program. But um, those who you feel need to know so that they can support you, tell them, hey, listen, babe, for the next six weeks, I'm only going to be having one glass of wine each night instead of my normal three, okay? So don't ask me if I want another one because it's going to be really hard for me to say no. Or, hey, babe, can you make sure that 
I followed through with my workout plan. Can you ask me if my workout bag is, pla is packed? So we'll all find our way to fill those people in our, that are around us. Now you guys, this week, this week is a very special week because it's extra challenging because it's candy and we got bite-sized shit all over, right? I mentioned on my like main page, my son came home the other night from Cub Scouts from a trunk or treat event and I was not ready to have candy in my environment. So I want you thinking right now, how are you going to deal with all the fun size candies that are gonna be around your office? It's gonna be at your house. It's gonna be everywhere that you go. What is your plan? Some people need to abstain 100%. To me, I don't want to abstain 100% because I like some of that stuff. So my plan is if I eat it, I enter it in my fitness pal. That's my promise to myself. If you eat it, you enter it. Because when you start entering three bite-sized Snickers, you understand what that does to your calories or your macros. And oftentimes decisions are made for you. So get your mind wrapped around that. And we'll talk about this again on Thursday and Friday because Friday Halloween's gonna be over. What are you still doing with that candy? Also, all this Halloween candy, we can get any other time of year, even candy corn. So there's really nothing special about this week when it comes to the candy. It's about dressing up. So we'll, we'll talk more about that. And it's really important that like we're doing this now because I think that Halloween sets the tone for the rest of the holidays to come, and it's a it's a slippery slope. Um, beyond that, telling people, also, be unapologetic about what it is that you want. What you want, you can have, right? Like we talked about last night, anything is possible. I just need you to believe that, and I want you to do whatever it's going to take to get it. So I want you to be unapologetic when you say no, to the birthday cake at the office. I want you to be unapologetic when you say no to happy hour after work if you don't really wanna go. I want you to say no to whatever other social event in the evening so that you can go and get your workout in. It does not matter. All that matters is you and your goals for the next seven weeks. That's all that matters. You are your priority. So just know that, be unapologetic in what it is that you want and know that we got your back. And if someone gives you trouble, I will gladly hop on the phone with them or shoot them a text. Um, let's see, what else? What else is gonna happen today? You're gonna see a document posted around lunchtime called The Five Habits. The Five Habits are the foundation of our program and it is the way, it is the way for long-term sustainable lifestyle change. Macros are temporary for most of us. It's an exercise in awareness and you're going to learn a lot. Your eyes are going to be opened. You're going to see, oh my gosh, I did not realize, fill in the blank. Um, but once you have that awareness, you don't have to be tied to macros. You don't need to be tied to my fitness pal, but you do want to make sure you're following the five habits and I'm not going to spoil them by talking about them right now, but it's one of the most powerful tools that I share in the group. And when life gets overwhelming and you can't track or you don't want to track, that is what you're going to rely on. Now, in addition, in addition to you clearing out your environment, telling everybody that needs to know, you know, what you're, what you're up to, I want you to pick one habit for the week. It could be one of the habits from the five habits that you're about to see, or it could simply be to enter all of your food into my fitness pal. It could be to drink 32 ounces of water before you have your first cup of coffee in the morning. Your one habit could be to go to bed by nine o'clock. Your one habit could be to get off of your computer and your phone one hour before you go to bed. So I'm just giving you a bunch of ideas, but just pick one thing. We don't need to overhaul everything at once. This program is about baby steps. I give you a lot of information, but how and when you implement it is really going to be up to you. And for those of you who have significant change to make, the bigger the change that you need to make, the smaller steps that you need to take, okay? Because when we try and do everything at once, we're setting ourselves up to fail. And I want you set up to succeed. Because the more you succeed, the more you succeed. We have a talk about that in week four or five. Success breeds more success. Okay, and you, if you listen to any of my videos last week on my main page, 
there's this thing called this confidence competence loop. The more you do something, the more you feel like you can do it. So your confidence goes up, your competence goes up, and then you're able to take on the world. Like I said, anything is possible. We're simply setting the stage. Um, slow and steady. And one thing I forgot to mention last night, for those of you who do want to track your macros, I emailed you guys all the link to the Google Doc to fill out the form. There's also a link in the Facebook group under the helpful links post. I will get those numbers to you by Thursday. It takes me a little bit of time to calculate everybody's. So just know that it's not like some back end calculation that's done. I have to actually go in, crunch some numbers, see what your body type is like, look at your activity level, see what your history is and that. So that's kind of time intensive on my end. Like I said, by Thursday, I'll get those to you by Thursday, end of day. Um, in addition to that, let's see what else do I want to talk about. Oh, yes. I want to give you guys an oath. I want you to follow this oath. I want you to look at it. I want you to write it down. I will type it in the description of this video. And right now, I want you to sit there, stand, whatever you're doing, and raise your right hand. And your oath is this. I, Kylie Larson, you state your name, I am committed to finishing what I am starting. Every time I fall, I will get back up. I am focused on progress, not perfection. I am doing this for fill in the blank. If you can do this for yourself, I want you to do it for yourself. Some of us need to do it for somebody else in order to stick with it. If you need to do it for your child, if you need to do it for your spouse, if you need to do it for your mother, somebody else, I am doing this for you fill in the blank. And I will not let this person fill in that blank one more time down. So you're not going to let yourself down. You're not going to let your kids down. Whoever you're doing this for, you're not going to let down. You're going to focus on progress, not perfection. And every time you fall, because you will fall, you will get back up. Write that down. I'll put it in the notes. And you're going to look at that. I would prefer that you look at it every single day. Just remember what you've signed up for. Right now, it's fun and it's exciting. It's new, rah, rah. It's not gonna be that way for long. I'm just being honest with you. It's gonna get old fast. But we know I address all of that stuff, you guys. We got your back. I know what's going on in your brain. Um, anything that you hear today, anything that you heard last night, you're gonna hear at least three more times throughout the course of our program. So if you missed it or it's not resonating or you don't get it, don't worry, we've got your back. Um, other things coming up this week, you guys. So today we're talking about the five habits. Tomorrow we're gonna talk about how to build your plate, how to build a meal for lunch, for dinner, for breakfast. Um, tomorrow we also talk about you being ready, willing, and able. On Wednesday we start to talk portion sizes and should I track my macronutrients? It's not for everyone. You have the ability to choose, remember that. You have the ability to choose. Your choices make your life. So you can choose whatever you want. If you don't want to choose to track your macros, it's fine. I support you 100%. Um, then on Thursday, we start diving into what are the macronutrients and why do I need them? Why do I need protein? Um, Thursday, Leanne and I do our tracking tips and tricks video. On Friday, we talk about carbohydrates. We have a really great video called Running from the Bear. And from then on Saturday, we talk about planning your workouts. I'll address the men's programming. So yeah, we've got the plan all set out. I do wanna show you guys something really quickly. I wanna show you into the portal. So I'm going to grab my phone and turn the screen around so that you can see where everything lives. Gentlemen, I just put your week one workouts into the workout portal. I still need to add your videos, but I will absolutely do that. And your training is just a little bit different, but I'll talk about that in just a moment. Well, actually in a separate video. So I'm gonna turn this screen around. Let's see, where do I do that? Oh, yes. Okay, so here we've got the workout portal and you'll see the weekly workouts, one at home and one gym. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Gentlemen, your, your workouts are at the bottom. 
So you'll click that link to go to your workouts. At the bottom of that, below that, we have how to's. How to print the workouts. If you wanna keep them and save them forever because they're such great workouts, please do that. And then how to save the portal on your phone. I did a link to that in the group last night. Super helpful. Also below that we have resources, weekly videos. All the videos that I do, they're posted here in addition to our Facebook group. And also over here, PDF resources. All the infographics that I share in the group will live here. Our weekly recaps will live here. Um, so everything you need is at that main portal page. Of course, you go into the workouts here. Men's workouts are below, how to's, etc. So that's how the portal works, you guys. We've got you, we're holding your hand, we have your back, you're totally supported. Um, keep your questions coming, keep your intros coming. Let's have an awesome week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.